fact that it, it picked the canvas, picked up all of the, the texture is amazing. This is Nancy Reinor, one of the 11 artists featured here at the State of the Art Gallery's February exhibit, Awakenings. We came up with Awakening because it's sort of close to spring and it reminded us that a lot of things are reawakening. The artists in the gallery took their own approaches to this theme, with some painting spring scenes and others going in the romantic direction. Reinor, however, went back in time to when she lived in Asia and chose pieces of works that showcased her time over there. To me, it was very reflective to select these pieces, to take pictures of them, to think about how I made them way back then. And so it was very, um, very nice experience. Reinor has been an artist at the gallery for the past three years. She said it's important to have this space not just for people to view the exhibit, but to also allow local artists to present their work. All through the year, there's opportunities to show our work in small groups or whatever. Now with the pandemic still ongoing, the typical Ithaca winter is making it difficult to actually travel to the gallery itself. The workers over there have come up with a digital approach to solve the issue. We thought, how can we keep out there? Because not many people were coming in when it was COVID. So the person who does the website also suggested the online show. Each exhibit at the gallery is now showcased both in person and online simultaneously, allowing it to be viewed on computer screens or right on your phone. We learned a lot through COVID, and I think we took the best advantage of it. The Awakenings exhibit is set to end this Sunday evening with a brand new exhibit opening next week. Reporting from Ithaca, I'm Jordan Broking, News Channel 6.